It is that beautiful music that plays before each Champions League match that will continue to inspire soccer players around the world. Hi, my name is Anna Pugliese, 20 years old from Toronto, Ontario. I spent the last two years in Italy playing professional soccer for a team by the name of Silvona. My name is Juan Ogurumbi, I'm 20 years old, I'm from Brampton, Ontario. I, used, I played two years with Bryce Academy, I got an offer of scholarship to Indiana, Indiana Tech, but now I currently go to Humber Lakeshore and I'm on the extra mirror team. What does the Champions League mean to you? Um, the Champions League, what it means for me is the same as it would for any professional player. I mean, it's the highest level of competition, it's the most rewarding as well. Yeah, a separate league from the club's own league, um, that is of what players go for, what they want to win, what they strive for as well. If you ask any professional soccer player, any soccer fan, Champions League is the most important thing for them. It means everything to me, man. Like, from this theme song, I even got the theme song to save as my ringtone. So, like, that's how much it means to me. It means everything to me. Like, every, I'm always looking forward to the week the Champions League is coming up. The stages, and every group stages, every match, I don't miss it. That's how much it means to me. When you hear that famous Champions League music, what emotions do you it's something really undescribable. We hear it every year, at the same time of year, every single year. We hear that song and it gives you, gives you the goosebumps. It really does, I mean, it's just, like, it's giving me goosebumps right now, to be completely honest with you. Um, it's something special, it's something with heritage. Like I said earlier, like, it's, it's just a beautiful thing to listen to. Like, I gotta save it as my ringtone, so like, I have to always listen to it. And it's just amazing, like, the moment you hear it, yeah, you know when you get those goosebumps and you're just ready to play? Yeah, that, that makes me feel amazing. I, I love everything about the music, the words, and even though they're not, they only said like two English words in it, it's still beautiful. For club competitions, is there anything bigger than the Champions League? Absolutely not, man. It's everything a player wants to play for, it's everything a coach wants to play for, it's like the best of the best going against each other, so why? There's nothing else compared to Champions League. When it comes to Champions League, it's as equivalent as it is for the World Cup. I mean, for club levels every single year, they go out and they're trying to win that Champions League, which is just as important, like I said, at the World Cup. With emotion pushed to the side, and when it's all said and done, who will be the team to lift the trophy this year? I hate to say it, but my money's got to be on Real Madrid. Like, they just got the best all-around team. They play the counter-attacking system greatly. They've got the best coach in the league right now. Tactically, he's, he's better than anyone else. We've got the two fastest guys in soccer right now. We've got Ronaldo. Like any guy who's got Ronaldo, they know like they're going to find the Champions League. And this is like a bail. And we've got Karim Benzema up top with a goal scoring machine. In my opinion, with the teams that there are in the league this year, um, I'd have to say between two clubs, it would be Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. With, with any sport or with anything really in life, experience counts a great deal. And you have a club like Real Madrid with a head coach as Carlo Ancelotti, and that says enough with the name. Besides Real Madrid, you have a club like Bayern Munich with a head coach like Pepe Guadarola. And with his experience, again, the name that you just say, and you already know what he has in store. Besides the head coaches of both those clubs, you have Ronaldo for Real Madrid, you have Arjen Robin for Bayern Munich, the list goes on. From the bench players to the starting 11 to the technical staff. Those are clubs that are ready to win it with the experience and with the quantity and quality of their guy. But this Chelsea fan wants something different. Winners win it! I will win it! With the Champions League final on June 6, 2015, we'll just have to wait to see whose prediction comes true.